the big question. Go ahead, Kristen. Just a couple of um, outstanding clarifications before I get to questions. Um, Sauber said there were documents in the garage and one document in an adjacent room. Merrick Garland said the DOJ was informed of one additional document this morning. Is that the same document? additional document and the document found in the adjacent room. So let me just say, during the review, and this is uh, so that folks know, uh, the lawyers discovered among personal and political papers a small number of additional Obama-Biden administration records with classified markings. All but one of these documents were found in storage space in the, the president's Wilmington residence gar uh, uh, garage. One document consisting of one page was discovered among stored materials in an adjacent room. No documents were found in the Rehoboth Beach House. Look, I just want to underscore that this is something, uh, uh, again, that, um, that the, pr the President takes very seriously. Uh, uh, it underscores how uh, we executed the search with the DOJ uh, to, uh, to, make, to make sure that they continued cooperating fully uh, with the review. And I think that is uh, what we are trying to be, uh, to be very clear about, is that uh, we have been, uh, the, the President's lawyers has been cooperating fully, fully. I'm, I'm not going to get into the specifics as to, uh, you have the statement. I would refer you to the President's lawyer or anything else uh, specifically on this or the Department of Justice because they are actually reviewing this currently. To go back to something we were trying to pin down yesterday, can you tell us today when did the President find out initially about that first batch of documents and then the second batch? Our reporting says he was told on November 2nd. Is that true? So what I can say to you uh, is that the President uh, has been kept uh, in, um, has been kept informed by his counsel throughout uh, this process. I found any don't, don't have a specific date, but I can tell you that the President was kept uh, informed throughout. Don't have a, a, a timeline to share for you right now. Again, this is under uh, ongoing review, uh, and so want to be careful and prudent of what I share here at the podium. When the search started and why they were searching in the first place, was the President concerned that there may be classified documents? Did someone tip them off? What sparked this? A again, I'm just not going to go into details from here. I'm not going to go into specifics from here. Uh, th this is undergoing. Un un uh, this review is continuing. It's ongoing. Uh, I would refer you to Department of Justice. I mean, you have said repeatedly. The president has said he takes classified documents very seriously. If that's the case, why were these classified documents being stored in his garage? Look again, um, and not just me. He has said this. You have heard the president say this twice already, um, and he's said this before, classified documents uh, and information, he takes that very seriously. And the you see- The garage is an appropriate place to store I, I'm, I'm not going to go into, uh, in, into, <laughs> into what he thinks or how he feels about what is currently happening. What I can say for sure when it comes to this a specific issue about uh, classified documents, about classified information, he takes that very seriously. He did not know, right? He did not know the records were there. Uh, he was surprised that the records were there. So let's be very clear. That is something that the President shared with all of you on the world stage and also recently today. Uh, and uh, and so what he what occurred was, as I've said multiple times before, is when his team identified that these records uh, uh, existed, they did they um, uh, they uh, handed them over to the archivist and also the Department of Justice. Just one more, mm -hmm. Kree. Sure. Do you acknowledge that the fact that the White House did not reveal this to the public, despite the fact that you've known about it for months? undercuts the president's promise of being transparent with the American people. But we but here's the thing they were transparent. Not there was the there people. there was transparency in doing what you're supposed to do when these when these items were discovered. Not with the American people. Look we, I am here, standing in front of you, answering these questions, right? The President took two questions this week on this. You've heard, wait, let me just answer. You've heard from the White House counsel who put out multiple statements on this. And so, again, this is an ongoing process. Uh, we want to respect the process. Uh, and we have laid out very clearly what occurred. Uh, and uh, again, don't want to get ahead of this. The Department of Justice, you you all can uh, will will get your your questions answered uh, from them during uh, during this uh, during this time. And so I will just refer you to the Department of Justice and.